on with hookahjohn.com once again. All right, so today we got a great product that just hit the market. As you can see, lately we've been getting a lot of hookahs added to the market. You got Regals, you got Sahara Smoke, you got Starbuzz, USA made. You got, there's one more. Sahara Smoke, exactly. Prometheus. Prometheus. All right, all great hookahs, all high-end hookahs, all made very well, and all come with a high-end price tag. Now Zahra, doing what they do, went ahead and made a hookah that might be similar, might not, I don't know, but it's a lot cheaper. So I'm going to show you this in detail. This is the box that it comes in, all right? Zahra uh, hookah box right here. You can check it out. And I'm going to open this up right now. Don't worry about the holes. Don't worry about the holes. Check this out. You get this nice box. Ooh, ah. All right, check this out. You have a nice little... Welcome pack. I didn't even read this yet. I could read this. I didn't read my glasses. It's a quick start guide. And then you've got all this, like, really, it's like a little guitar case. All right, and you get your hookah in here. So this is the blue one. So I'm going to show you just, they got four colors, blue, red, black. And then this one, some people call Rasta, some people call this and that. I don't want to open this tray right now. It's, uh, I want to keep it new for whoever buys this one, because we've got one open. So check out the tray. Got the Zahra logo. Got the little, um, I don't know, raised circles it looks like they're punched in or something um, good for like keeping a little air in your uh, between your coals kind of like the bottom of a lotus Do we have a clean lotus here anywhere you know how you get those little things on a lotus that come up those little balls it has them right here all different sizes pretty cool pretty cool so we'll show you the I'm not gonna do anything in a particular order here uh, this is a brand new stem all blue if you guys want to see the colors in person, there's pictures everywhere. The pictures look great. Very heavy. Uh, hey Juan, can I ask you to do something for me real quick while I'm doing this video? Can you just put this on the... It's not paying attention. Hey Juanito, yeah. can I ask you to put this on the um, um, scale and tell me how much it weighs and bring it back please? Yeah. Thank you bud. And so while he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Uh, the red, which comes with a red tape, pretty sharp looking red. Okay, you'll notice the three purges, we'll get into that in a bit. These are made so that you can, those three purges are made so that you can add hoses. You buy these adapter parts separately, and then you can make it a multi-hose hookah to your liking. How much you get? Four. Straight up four pounds. No, no four point this, four point that, straight up four pounds. Hey, was this in this original box? Yep. Okay. So it looks like what you're getting here is a couple of like parts for it. Okay, I'm gonna have you put that away. It's pretty simple to get in and out of there. Okay, so it looks like we've got some extra ball bearings and rings. What do you need these rings for? I know you can't see it too well, but you get these two like, I don't know if they're glass or plastic, and they pop right out. So the rings that you get, the extra rings, gets these for suction, for, for air tightness. Okay, so there you go. Let's see what the bottom is. This looks like a traditional chamber, but there's four ports, so it's done pretty well. So I guess you just pop these in like yay. And then, do these come apart too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like they do. And this one has a ball bearing in it. This one has a metal ball bearing in it. And it's made for purging, if you know what that is. I know a lot of you guys like to go out purging once a year, like that movie. Uh, this is a different type of purge. You get your air out. It's cool. So it comes with those, and then you can buy these separately, but it comes with one, and that's just your your hose port. Um, God, he explained something to me about you can add a ball bearing into this. Yes, yes, yes. They've got other ones. So when you're going multiple hoses, make sure to put a ball bearing in there. That way you can take a puff, and your smoking buddy can take a puff as well. So, wait, what do you do? Some people were telling me they're going to get this, and put on some kind of cheap glass. Uh, this is priced at $95 for the stem and tray only. Not a bad price, but still wouldn't put it on a cheap base. I would put it on this right here. I would put it on a hookah john boho, or any type of respectable glass. But since this is hookah john, and we are gonna use hookah john products. Oh, cause they're awesome. And let's do this, let's get a little feel for this. Where's that bowl? You said you're still in the middle of it? Okay. So you guys check them out. Check out, uh, you're smoking that green savior in this, huh? No, why am I smelling green savior? Because you smoked it. Oh, okay. That's right, I was smoking it yesterday. 
So this is a mixed color one. You're either going to like this or hate it. Some people call it the Rastafarian. On our site, we're just going to call it green, gold, and red. All right. So that's a, the other color option. So we showed you all four color options. This mixed one, I, I don't know who figured out. Yeah, let's just do these colors mixed. Maybe they had some extra green, some extra red, but not enough gold. So they did that. Actually, the reds are a little different. This is an orange, I think, more than that red. You can see it through the plastic. Because when you get the purge, the replacement uh, purge ports, or the hose ports, they come in red and in orange, as well as green and in, well, no, they don't come in green. They'll come in the base color. So it'll be uh, in the hub colors. It'll be black, blue. Black, blue, red, and orange. This one comes with a green plate. You can see the pictures on hookahjohn.com. Just go under Zahra Hookahs, and you'll see some pictures up there. I like to make these videos because it actually shows you what you're getting in a little better format. A little better, uh, it's just, I don't know. Pictures are photoshopped to look good, and these are, these videos are just good quality videos so that we can um, bring it to you a little bit more live and in person, live and in color. It's one of those days, people. I'm not gonna apologize. What are we smoking? Ugly lemon mint, right? That's it, thank you. I was smoking that earlier. We need to get some foil, eh? So we're resorting to pre-punched foil. And it's all right, because ugly will smoke just fine with the whole pattern that this pre-punched foil comes with. Apply that on there. I wanna get this. The only thing I don't like about this pre-punched foil, once in a while, it's hard to get airtight. It seems a little loose at the bottom. You really gotta work your way around there. Again, the usual rim job. But still, I would rather use regular foil. We got a black plate. So when we weighed this at four pounds, it was, it was without the plate. Do we weigh the plate? No, it's, it's heavy enough. It's not a cheap plate, take my word for it. Did I just tear that? No, I didn't. Yes, I did, a little bit. Should be fine, should be fine. So we're gonna go ahead and apply our coals. So what do you guys think of this hookah? I mean, it's pretty grand, if you ask me. It is grand, to say the least. Let's get that straightened up a little bit. And get a couple of... So yeah, people were asking, why three purges? What's the point of that? Yeah, you don't need three purges. You need one purge. So you can make this a... Uh, you know, a double smoking kuka, or you can make it a quadruple smoking kuka, or triple while you're at it. Just make sure you need those ball bearings in there so that they uh, do the little auto seal and let that heat up a little bit and see how this baby rips. Did we get enough water in there? Yeah, we did. About an inch above the bottom of the down stem. Or submerse your down stem an inch into the water. You know what, I was smoking green savory out of this yesterday, a good Starbucks flavor, and I can still taste it in the hookah. So this will take a minute to light up, and then after that I'll probably bring down a hose, a, 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 a coal, stuttering John. While we're letting that heat up, where are you going to be July 8th and 9th, 2017? I'll tell you where you're going to be. You're going to be at Hookah Expo Worldwide in Las Vegas at the Cashman Center. Why, you ask? Because we're only going to have the first ever hookah only open to the consumer convention where all of us, every single one of us, those of you viewing, those of you not viewing, you're all going to be there. And I'm going to be there hugging it out, kissing and hugging and taking pictures and selfies. And then you're going to get other brands like uh, Ugly is going to be there. Zahra Hookah is going to be there. Um, I don't know. Name a brand. Top of your head. Um, we've got some foreign companies, companies coming out like MIG Hookahs, MIG products. They're, they express some interest. They want to come out. you get some Canadian guys coming out. Who's Canadian? Not the B2. The, the, uh, I'm always confused between B2 Hookah and B2 Hookah. Who, who, oh, no, Shisha Bucks. I was confused Shisha Bucks and B2. But both of them will be there, and then they'll be able to, to explain their differences. 
you'll get brands like Alfacker is going to be there, Starbuzz, players in the community like Frank the Tank will be there. You guys know Frank, Kuka Frank. Uh, our buddy Smoker Pass, he'll be out there. The True Hookah King will be out there. So there'll be a lot of Russians out there. Hookah Boss will be out there from Russia. Art Hookah will be represented. I shouldn't even name anyone. If they're in Hookah, they're going to be there. So we're pretty much at, we're heated up here, almost. Not a super loud rumble. Have you noticed that? Purging. In a little bit. I'll, I'll get the purging. Thank you. You're the cameraman. You're not the director. All right. Okay. So the good thing about it, it's it's a little quiet compared to a rumbly. You ever get that? So this is on pretty good. So that's excellent. I know our buddy Michael just mentioned that um, Lemon Mint by Ugly is his favorite. I like it. Should we get a close up to see how this purge works? Here we go. Are you ready for it? It's like nine little rockets of smoke, three per purge. So you do the math here. So you take a three, because there's three holes on the purge, and then you get three purges. So most of you guys will figure this out. In case you can't, it's nine little rocket holes in there. Little <laughs> rocket holes. Little uh, toothpick size holes in there. Someone made a comment saying it can't purge all the smoke out. Um, I don't know, let's see if that really works. So it looks like it takes a couple of purges and it does take it out. All right, pretty good. So now let's see if it brings all the smoke back in. I'll get back down here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So that's it. A great new hookah. There's a name to this hookah. It's called, not here. Do you remember what it's called? The spade. The, let's call a spade a spade. All right, this is the Zahara spade hookah. I don't even know what that means or references. You know? I like the design. Some people said they were ugly. I didn't think they were super attractive, but now that I see one in person, it's cool. Hey Juan, can, you got a tape measure over there? I'm sure the specs are on the site, but let's give this a little, let's give this a little measure. Don't lose this, whoever it belongs, uh, whichever it belongs to. And no tape measure? Sorry, man. Need something for reference here. There we go. I'm gonna guess it's a good 34, maybe 36 inches. It's about 12 right there, so there's another 12. And there's another 12 with a bowl on it. So it's gonna be up to here. That's our measuring point. And the Hookah John Bohos are a tad taller than other bases, but not by much. It could be the same. Tape measure. I need a tape measure. Where's my tape measure? I can't yell at him. He, we have to have a talk. Everyone had to, the employees had this meeting, and it was like an intervention with me. I'm not allowed to yell at him anymore or even make faces like roll my. All right, forget it. Don't worry about it. It's cool. We don't need a tape measure. We're cool. What do you think? Smokes great. $95 for the stem and tray alone. You get one of these for something like, I don't know, 100 bucks, because it's a good um, Czech made, handmade base, uh, made out of Czech crystal. It's an old one, so it's a little grimy down there where we put our base protector on. But these are beautiful bases that you put on. And that's about it. I'm gonna take this back to my desk, and I'll see you guys later. Pick one up. I mean, what are you gonna lose for 95 bucks? I don't know, I'd do it. What? Wait, wait, what? Total length, 30 and a half inches. 30 and a half inches, but that's the length from the down stem, probably, to the top. That's 30 and a half. So then you're going to add another, I don't know. I'd say that's about four. That's 34 and a half. Yeah. 
a little bit taller. I'd say that's 36. All right. I don't need a tape measure. I just know how much things, how tall things are. Talk to you guys later. Thanks.